Hi, in this video I'm going to show um, how to make a JavaScript class. Uh, it's uh, manipulating the objects in a way that we could organize and make some kind of pattern with our applications. So as an example, I did one for um, person. And as an example, I put uh, my name and I put my religion as Bratskyism, I take a little religion and a test little function just to demonstrate this. And just to show how it works, uh, we have my uh, little uh, demo site open, but we're not actually gonna use the demo site, we're gonna use the, just the console to actually make this bigger. And you can see that I actually put it in here. Now I'm gonna refresh the page to start everything over. And the way that I do this is we're gonna have to make a new person in here. So I'm going to do var Brandon equals new, and I call the function person. And you can see it just gets it undefined. Just there's no uh, nothing after that. But if I go in and call Brandon, you can see that I get this object, and you can see it's called person, and I have all the parameters in here. Now, if I want to go and get these parameters, you can see that I've, I've typed them in here. All I have to do is do Brandon dot whatever the field name is. So if I want the name, if I want the religion. Also, what if I want to uh, call a function with this? All I do is Brandon dot get info. And you can see that it calls out the get info function. Keep in mind, if you don't have these parentheses, it'll just return the actual function. So it doesn't actually do anything for you. Now, there's um, other things, like what if you want to um, set something to be different? So uh, instead of, um, I want to change my religion, and I'm going to convert to uh, Brandonism. I actually want to make that a string. And you can see that now if I call Brandon again, you can see that my religion changed to Brandonism. And now what's really cool about this is if I call my get info again, my get info function, because the get info is um, relating to this, it actually changes it in that function as well. So this can be really nice when you're making more complex applications. Um, let's go over the actual JavaScript on making this. Um, we figured out how to make things work and go with that. So let's uh, take it another step further. Um, now you can see that I have different variables. and This is pretty uh, easy to explain. Um, the this refers to the actual person. So in, in the case of uh, when we were making the Brandon variable, it was referring to Brandon. Brandon's name is Brandon and so on. If you wanted to do this again, you can just do this dot id equals uh, whatever. You could also use something like this. Let's say you wanted to define a variable when you make it. So we're going to do uh, that and we're going to want to call make this ID. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Now we're going to do the same thing called Brandon equals person or equals new person. And we're going to make give it an ID. So ID of 10. Now when I call Brandon, you can see that my ID gets set to 10 because this parameter got passed down to here when it got initialized. You can also pass variables through uh, functions as well. So, uh, let me call this my function equals uh, function, and you, we're going to call a variable x. And we're going to make this. Uh, 
But actually, let's do, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it X. And what this will do is it'll uh, concatenate to uh, Brandon. And we're going to add the X to it. So it's going to reset the Brandon. So let's uh, try this out. And the way we're going to do it is we first have to make our Brandon, of course. You can see if I do this, you can see that my function is actually in there. And we're going to call my function, and we're going to call that variable x. So uh, I'm going to make it say Brandon b. And now if I call Brandon, you can see that the name should change. You can see right here, the name did change. Uh, so I hope this uh, helped you understand a little bit of how to make <coughs> a, a class in JavaScript. This is just one of uh, multiple ways of doing it. It's the way that I prefer when I'm making it. So hopefully you guys will like it as well. Talk to you soon.